at the wall and we're going to Ross, Bristol, Virginia. Let's go in, see what they got. Well, sadly, no X-Men today, but they do have three Skeletons. We saw him in Johnson City, Ross. Not here in Bristol, they had Beastman. In this one, there's another Gundam, Siren, and then the same old, same old usual stuff there. I did overlook, when I saw my video, I saw it. They have one of those holiday edition clone troopers there when I found the X-Men, but of course it is gone. But let's get back here to the back and see what they got back there. Doesn't look like a whole lot back here. The Beastman figures didn't last long. They're already gone. That was yesterday that I saw those. They got Skelegod today, but no Beastman. Doesn't look like they've gotten anything else different. Well, I'm thinking they had several of these as well. And now they're down to just that one. I don't know if what that is, good, bad, ugly, or whatever, but I think they had more than one of those here yesterday, but I don't know. There's Dilophosaur. Anything over there? Nope. Let's take a look at our end cap. Halo, the Mario stuff. And anything hiding back here? There is not. All right, guys. I see anything else in here? I'll show it to you. If I don't, then I'll see you the next one. We are here in Bristol Target, and check this out. They've got the new NECA Toonie Superman. <laughs> that doesn't look terrible, huh? He looks kind of like, excuse me. <laughs> they got Joker and Superman. I can't remember who else is coming in that. Uh, Vincent Price, I've never seen him before. That's pretty cool. All those are Vincent Price. And there's Superman there. I just knocked over. And a whole peg of them here. So NECA's been here. Ghostface and Michael Myers, Sam, Bob Ross. No restock on Pee Wee and Petrie. Or Terry. Not Pee Terry. Petrie's Terry. I'm sorry. Um, let's just plushies. Oh, these things, I like looking at these. I'm not interested in buying them because I think these NECA figures are getting ridiculously priced, but they do look cool. I like the alternate skull there. That was still, they're still 29 bucks or 25 bucks, definitely, but I don't know for like 36, 37. I'll probably get that though. $15, huh? To each his own, I guess. I guess people could say that's overpriced as well. Um, Token Razar, same crap down here. No new collector's editions. Not seeing clearance stickers. Yes, that, this Platinum has been here forever. It's sad. These are kind of like the Tiger Force Flint figures. Nobody wants them, but as soon as those hit clearance, they'll be gone in five minutes. <laughs> I don't see anything else here. We've got to take a picture of Superman. But I just want to peek down here. They do put some clearance items down here sometimes. But I don't see anything different there. Well, they got some stuff over here. I don't think it's clearance, though. Uh, Captain Marvel. A bunch of big Spin Masters. Aquaman figures. Stealth suit. Regular suit. King Cordax. I assume they're full price. Those $19.99. There's that big bat, bat tank, motorcycle, robin, robot thing. <laughs> that thing is pretty cool, but it's a hundred bucks. Now this has clearance slipping all over it. Look at all the Donkey Kong little sets there. If that does hit a good price, I'll probably buy that. But I always took a Jurassic Park and Aladdin. Those little movie case things. But looks like that's going to do it back here, guys. If I do see anything else, I'll let you see it. If I don't, then I'll see you the next. That must be a popular trash can. It's always full. Anyways, we're back at Ross here in Greenville, Tennessee. Uh, let's run in here and see if they got any of the good Mo2 or anything else I've been seeing. What have we got here tonight? Rolls. Dragon Ball Z figures. Again, I wish I knew if these were good ones or not. If anybody knows, let me know. I've always heard of Dragon Ball Z, but I don't know the first thing about it. Still got those Transformers, whatever way those are. Um, I did see on Instagram today, somebody has found the Hasbro Pulse. I think it wasn't, no one exclusive. I got my Amazon, sorry. But the retro carded Iron Man War Machine figure is hitting Ross stores in Arizona already. Hoping that makes it my way. I've got one of those. But you know, I'm going to have one take off card. There's a Power Ranger. Beast Morpher's Yellow Ranger. I can see we're coming up on some Skeletons. 
But let's take a look here first before we get down to those Dilophosaurs. Uh, here's our Skelegod. They got three of him. Take a picture of that. Those seem to be hitting like crazy in raw stores right now. Everyone I've been in the last little while has had some form of Motu. Seen Skelegod now in three different stores. And Beastman was in the one in Greenville. Are these all still Psycho Man? Yeah, no Fire Lord or no. Uh, what's his name? War Machine. Of course, that wouldn't be on a Fantastic Four card, would it? <laughs> Let's just take a gander down this one, make sure nobody puts anything over here. They're trying to hoid. That's not a. Uh, okay, no. I saw a blue end of a blue box, so maybe you have to apply some that. There's a Mandalorian. A medium. That won't fit on my leg. It's a cool looking Mando Pop, though. I want to take a picture of that. It's pretty cool. Looking. Oh, that's not Mando. That's Boba Fett. Oh, man. Star Wars people are going to get me for that. I am so sorry. I got my characters confused. Boba Fett. Not Mandalorian. That's embarrassing. Uh, well, I don't see anything else, guys. But, yeah, we got some Skelly God here. Like I said, they got... It looks like a pretty good stock of toys at this place. But it's not anything else we're currently looking for but if i do see anything else on my way back out of the store i'll show it to you but if i don't i want to see you at the next one the saturday morning toy hunting adventure on the man collects begins and we are here at walmart they have just opened the doors let's run in here and see what they got still looks like it's a pretty stocked out look at all those fugglers lord have mercy well, those are all gonna be donnie and leo I apologize for my voice, guys. I thought I was getting over my little allergy, sickness, whatever got going on here, but I still can't talk very well. Now oh, they got the metal figs. You know, with a full box, they got them all. Yep. <laughs> Thumbnail fodder. There's the other Godzilla and Kong too. Bad. Godzilla just looks small to me. I don't know. Oh, that thing. I got that here the other night. I don't know if I have... Yeah, it should be on YouTube by the time you watch this. I'm going to make a short of that. That is awesome. That right there is awesome. I may get that big Kong to scale with that guy. But he is cool. He walks. He breathes out this hot vapor stuff. Awesome. Scar King. Godzilla. Scar King. There's Battle Roar Kongs. Battle Roar Godzilla Evolved. A uh, bunch of turtles. There's Genghis. There's one shade. They have 50 shades of Genghis. I did find the other. The other one. On my last haunt. I said one of them are dark green. One of them is a lighter green. I think someone told me the lighter green is the regular one. I, I, that might be, I can't remember if that's the light one or the dark one. It looks like a light one to me. Well, so I got the big ones down there. It looks like Meat and Mayhem got a restock. There's Movie Turtles, Wingnut. Oh. Movie Turtles, Genghises. Those are full to the end of the peg. I don't see anything that makes me think there's anything different. I want to pull all that stuff out. Yep, we got the Fugglers. Leonardo. Turtle fans are excited about these. I mean, they're all, they're not bad looking, and they're only seven dollars ninety four cents. But <laughs> we're gonna get a picture if we can, without knocking all these over. Donnie and Leo. Man, if these things start coming alive as many as they go, it's gonna be like that movie Critters. You're gonna be running around gnawing on your ankles. Uh, being a little mini fig up there, that thing is pretty cool actually. I still got Scar J or Scar Joe. Some of those I got left. Uh, Warner Brothers DC, a bunch of page punchers up there. It's Aquaman figures, the Snow Holiday Security Droid guy. We got all the little Marvel Avengers figures we've been seeing like crazy. Iron Man, Venice. Captain America. There's the Hulk. They have. Huh. I think Target's the place I've seen Black Panther that I can remember. 
There's a NASCAR Adventure Force set. Three and three quarter X Men, the Egghead Legend up there. Uh, still got the three pack. There's a bunch of dinos. Got these little plushies. There's a Micro Galaxy Squad, and I still got the Vampire. There's Flash. Super Duper Man. Wonder Woman. They're in there right side up. And then we have Batman. He looks too happy to be Batman. And we still got some Vampire and Robins. Don't Guys, let me know if you're finding these. Every one, every store I found so far are kind of right there at the top. You got that little flapper. They're all messed up like that. I have yet to see one that's not. Well, the one, well, I'll take that back. The one I was sent. Vlad didn't have that. But we got that. We got one Owl Man left. So, man, the gold labels here have taken a hit. They had six of him the other day. I think they had seven Owl Man. Now they're down to two and only one Owl Man left. So it's cool to see they're still selling good. And then older ones there, dude. We ain't gonna talk about those. Those have been here forever. There's a couple more Michael Galaxy Squadrons that we got up here. Uh, yeah, they're both that one. Uh, Blackest Night figures. I'm not even gonna dig through those. I see Deathstroke down there. I don't see any other uh, superpowers. But they're all over in that big pile on the floor. There's somebody cleared them out. I think they did have some on the pegs here today, so I bet somebody's wiped them out for three bucks. There's some collector shops around here, but they've come and scooped them all up to scalp them. I mean, resell them. That looks like older Black Series. It kind of looks like Reef Cargo. His box right there. There's the 5 POA. Sabine Wren and Paz Vizsla. $15. <laughs> uh, there's another Micro Galaxy, the tab tore off of it. Eh, Cassian Andor. Nothing new there. AEW figs, Jericho, Walmart exclusives. Hey, they got another Crazy Eyes Hogan. That's them looking right there, and you're in the middle of a match, and all of a sudden you have to go to the bathroom. It's like, <gasps> oh no. I haven't seen that in a while. It's pretty cool to see that again. I'm going to take a picture of that. I mean, come on. There we go. Picture them crazy eyes. Earthquake. Rick Root. There's a Hogan. I bet the same one they had there tonight, though. Yep, yellow boots. <laughs> Earthquake. DBRC. Uh, same old Joes. Snake Man Infiltrators. Then we got Strato still there. Bunch of Moss Man. Scrap Iron. And what do we got over here? I'm not seeing anything. A good stock on the video game stuff. Donkey and Diddy and Link. Mario. Troopas. Bunch of Poppy Playtimes and Rainbow Friends stuff. Big old stuff. Blue guy. Alright. Let's move back there and check out the die cast. Do I see anything worth looking at? I'll let you see it. If I don't, then we'll see you at the next destination. The world of die cast. They still got that little crane cam Chevrolet truck. Uh, Kings of Crunch. Some more here. Dodge of Wagon. Or Van, I mean. Nut Rider. Loki and his pimp wagon. These are kind of cool. Plymouth Roadrunner is kind of sexy. Oh, look at that vet. Oh. I'd like to find the Major Bruiser again. I found that and didn't get it a while back. And it's not like big time collector's regret, but it was cool. We'll dig through those again in a second. Uh, all red tops on our Star Wars stuff. Where's the Batman? There we go. They don't have the Dark Knight Returns tank, do they? Nope. Hopefully that will show its face eventually. Uh, nothing up top. It's like the same old thing. Got a bunch of the new nano scenes there for Fast and the Furious. 
Race reverse. Oh, they got some monster jam. Oh, they got one chase. <laughs> There's the Wasabi Warrior, the Series 31 chase truck. I'm not seeing any 33s. The Series 33 truck showed up here. Or not, I don't know if it's this Walmart or not, but in my areas for a little bit, but they didn't stay around too long. That's a cool looking grave digger. Alrighty, what else we got? Let's, let's wrap this one up. We're running a little bit too long in this first store. I've noticed it's a trend. My toy hunt. It's the first place I go. I'll linger forever. And then as I go other places, I get shorter and shorter. Okay, so I'm guessing there's going to be nothing good. Because like I said, I've had other Hot Wheels collectors. The ones that go to the... I might see them this morning at Kingsport. But they say they look like this. That means somebody's already been through them. But then again, I don't just hunt for treasure hunts, so... That's cool. My DK. Uh, got the little overflow area up there. We'll just go throw some eyes on that. Let's see if all the superpowers did get moved up here. This is where they were the other day. Actually, I don't see them. Maybe they got rid of them. So they were all kind of thrown around right around here somewhere. So, hey. Oh, no, never mind. Found them. Found them. They still got a pretty good amount of them, but they are down to three bucks now. So maybe they'll get them out of here, but I think that's going to do it, guys. If you see anything else, I'll let you see it. If we don't, then I will see you at the next one. Brown's Mill, Brown's Mill, so cold, so still. All right, let's run in here, see what they got. Brown's Mill, let's get through this one. All kinds of Transformers up top, and look at the mutant mayhem. And turtles up there. All kinds of them. And they got some Godzilla and Kong stuff we'll look through there. I see a Fuggler. They got both two packs for Godzilla and Kong. They got the big Kong down there with the Beast Glove. Scar King, Godzilla. I don't think they make, I think they make a Shimu where I haven't seen him in that scale there. Okay. Metal Figs. Ah, oh, cool. They got the set. Somebody's been looking at the way they got them positioned out there. These two packs are really nice as well for the price. I've got to, I'll probably end up buying this one at least. So I have both of those. That Battle Roar Kong there is awesome. Uh, this figure is one... I don't think... They, maybe they don't make as much of him. I haven't seen this as much as I see the others. His mouth closed. <laughs> Alright. That kind of looks... Distant cousin. Hmm. Leonardo, 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 Leonardo. So they sold out Donatello fugler, Fugglers here. I gotta be careful saying that word. I'll end up saying something bad. Had to edit it out of the channel. Um, I'm not gonna look for, for the Ganguses. We've already seen the two colors on a previous one. Is this Donatello? Leo and Leo. So, yep, no Donatello's here. I don't have anything different. Those all turtles look like it. I don't see any movie stars back in there. Uh, I think the other day when I was here, they had the Legends, the Avengers, Infinity Saga stuff. I don't see any now. There's the MJ from No Way Home still hanging out. Siren. Let's see if you can tell. I mean, can you see all that dust? They got some other older legends. There's our little three and three quarter, four inch, whatever they are. And there's all the Randy Ortons. They got a bunch of Randys up there. If anybody wants that figure in the John City area, I would think eventually that they'll have those marked down because they got a lot of them. And no offense to Randy, but it'd be kind of hard to sell all them unless there's avid Randy Orton fans around here. Dinosaurs, still nothing in the multiverse. They do have the tags for Robin and Owlman, but they don't yet have out Robin and Owlman. That Charlize Theronosaurus there is pretty cool. Batmobile, Visible Jet, still got those death metal or speed metal, wherever they are here, where somebody stole the bath pieces out of it. They still got a Clooney left. Had a bunch of the Batman Robin figures here the other day, and a whole wave of them. But I can still see some down there. We might have the rest of them down there. We'll have to see what's there when we get to that point in our hunt of this stole. 
but still let's take a picture of Mr. Clooney as we capture him in the wild. What do we got down here? I have yet to see Batgirl. One of my buddies on Instagram, I can't remember if it was Dave or William Golden or both, has found that Batgirl like two or three times. Jealous of that. Never seen it. Had to order mine from a Farland toy store. I'd love to find the platinum with that Batgirl, but that thing is super rare. Uh, there is Sabine and Paz Vizsla on these things again. Let's take pictures of them. I don't know if I did the other store. Just in case we need that ever popular thumbnail fodder. Uh, those things, all they got in those. DC Metal Figs. There's another Godzilla and Kong. There's Batman and Poison Ivy, I can see. We'll see who else is there in a second. Giant Godzilla evolved. I still see Bruce Wayne from the Batman hanging out down there. Not really much going on in wrestling here. I got some pretty good stock of basics. I still got the girls. These are usually the two when they're at Books of Million in places that would go first. It's Ivy and uh, Alicia there. What do we got? I got to see Albano, Piper, Honky Tonk, and Million Dollar Man. Everybody's got a price. Everybody's going to pay. That guy's kind of cool looking. I'm not seeing anything different in this stuff outside of what we normally see. Huggy Wuggies and... Rainbow friends, more dinos hanging out up there. Let's see over here where Leon, not Carlos, Leon, <laughs> gave me the tip about checking these aisles around the box. They still got a box of Godzilla and Kong there. It looks like they put some of that stuff out. They still got the whole wall of these. I don't think these are full price for $17 back in clearance. Movie Monster Basic figures. That's the little small $9 figures. Uh, I got a bat wing for ten dollars. That blackest night Batman's been back here for a while. This is where the big stack of Godzilla and Kong was. They have got those put out now. Are they moved into the back or something? But yeah, we're gonna run and we're gonna check out Diecast. If I see anything there, I'll let you see it. If I don't, then I'll see you at the next place. We have now come to Kingsport, Tennessee. We're at Fort Henry Drive at the Walmart here. We're going to run in, see what this place has got for us this morning. Well, what I was calling the auxiliary toy aisle over here next to the bicycles. Check us out, Leon. They cleared mine out. <laughs> uh, I still got a few things. Well, no, not really. I got the Captain America shield thing down there. But... Yep, they must have got everything over to the normal toy aisle. So let's head over there. Let's see what, ah, let's just walk over there. No sense turning the camera off. I'm just walking like, what, 20 feet? I don't know, hard to tell. Anyways, let's see. Got Paz Vizsla, or Previsla, sorry. Previsla, my bad. Uh, Grand Inquisitor, Hera, Hu Hong, Majestic Reef Cargo. There's Chopper, Chopper's kind of cool. None of the Star Killers or um, Balin or any of those. You know, there for a while I was having some luck finding some rares and chases on those, and I haven't found one in a while. My hot streak killed off. There's that crushed one. I can still see the bubble behind that one. If that is a chase, it's crushed. I don't want it. Uh, superpowers. Let's just see. I don't see Robin or Owl Man, but they do have the stickers up for him. I guess there's no room with all these future state Batman still hanging around. Uh, they got these little things, Sabine and Pre or Paz Vizsla. There's all that. Let's see what's down here. They had a bunch of the Superman. They still got a bunch of the Superman. Blackest Night stuff. Uh, none of this has changed, guys. It's still the same stuff. Shame stuff. Superpowers. We don't have any multiverse stuck up there, do we? If I do, I'm not seeing it. Future state, future state, future style. These are future states. 
Wait, nope, we got one Dark Knights of Steel back there. <laughs> okay, what else? They got the little, they don't, they don't have the many Marvel figures out yet. This place usually gets stuff pretty quick, but they don't seem a little bit behind the, a little behind the other stores, some of that stuff. Still got some X Men '97. There's Magneto, Storm, Storm, Magneto, and a Bishop back there in the back. They've had those for quite a while. Same ones, MJ's and Matt Murdock. Pizza Fire Van. They do have Fugglers, and like other stores, they've got a bunch of Fugglers. Don't see much there that we haven't already been seeing. Those are all Beast Glove Kong or Scar King. I should have done a better job at the last Walmart I was at. They had the Shimu figure in that scale, and they had the uh, the kid. I don't know what's the kid's name. Is he on the are they on the back here? Suno. Suko. My bad. Suko with Titanus Doug. There's Kong and Scar King. Do they have the other two pack? Uh, I believe all they got is Kong and Scar King. And these Godzilla two packs. There's the big Godzilla Evolved. Uh, the, the crystals. I gotta say, the Godzilla and Kong stuff is pretty fairly priced, I think, except for those. Those are ridiculous. $6.24 for those. Little too pricey for a figure it's that big when you get it out. Looks like one of those things you used to put on the bubble machines, or you put the quarter in, turn the thing, and drop you out like a little plastic container with a little toy in it. That's what it's like. I'm assuming these are all Donnies and Leos. I'm not going to dig through all these fugglers. I haven't seen any others yet, but that doesn't mean they're not hitting. More mutant mayhem up there. Uh, Poppy Playtimes, Huggy Wuggy, Among Us. Still think these are cool figures, the Among Us guys. <laughs> Only at Walmart. There's a bunch of Ultimates. Bobby and Lashley, let's see if we can just grab the bottom one and slide that stack out. Uh, those are all look like our Bianca's, Bobby Lashley's. I want to assume there's some angles in there somewhere. Yep, there's some Kurt Angles. Randy Orton up there. So that's all. They've had a really good stock of the Ultimate figures over the last little while. And they still got a bunch down here. There's Kurt Angle and Bobby Lashley there. Here's some of the newer ones. I've seen Paul Bearer a couple of times. They don't have Paul this morning. He sells quick. I'd love to find the variant of him. Uh, Jericho's. There's some more. What we got here? I don't want to pull these out. These belts will fall off. Looks like Kurt and Bobby for sure. I can't tell if there's a Bianca back in there or not. There's those new two packs. Big E, Triple H, AJ, Kevin Styles, or AJ Styles and Kevin Owens, Lord. But, huh, Pudgy Penguins, I think that's going to do it for our adventure and action figures. Let's head over to Diecast and stuff and let's see what we can find. Here I am at 8 o'clock in the morning, getting ready to hunt you. Here we are at Target, Kingsport. You see, our Hot Wheels crowd just got in. I don't know if you can tell, but there's one gentleman with an orange baseball cap on. He is the one here that normally takes off almost running to beat these people to the Hot Wheels. <laughs> but let's get in here and see what the action figures have got. Well, they have made some changes back here. This used to be piled full of NECA. And now they got a bunch of this stuff. The cutie cuffs and some Pokemon. Oh, look at these little things. Avengers 60th bag clips. That's pretty cool. I found some Ninja, Ninja Turtle ones of those back in the day on clearance. Ended up getting one of the variant or the rare chases, whatever you call them. 
of Casey Jones. That's still hanging in my office. There's a Charizard premium collection. I don't think I've seen that before. I don't know if Madison likes Charizard. I know she likes Eevee. Uh, no new Toonie Terrors. We saw the Toonie Superman and Vincent Price at the uh, Bristol Target. I didn't feel much in there. I don't know if I'll have that in this video or not, but... Gundams. Still got our Batman animated. Don't see any clearance or download of two Scarecrows and a Batman. And the bike still. Blackest Night figure still over here. That's Sonic. Is that a coin bank? Yep, coin bank. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So I got a couple of Firestorm. And usual things there. Doom nobody wants. McFarlane Dragons. And what do we got here? Robin Hood and Back to the Future. I think they had those last time we were here. I don't recall. I don't think they've restocked much in this section. Oh, they got a Godzilla. Oh. 1954. That thing's pretty cool. Uh, well, he's only 23 bucks. Not terrible. Feels like a good quality figure, too. Stranger Things. Don't see anything different in Funko. Uh, get some people down there. We don't want to get in their way trying to look. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for over here. We're going to head over now to the action figures and see if they got anything there. Let's walk around back here first to see if they got anything. Sexy and exciting. We got some boxes. We got our Hot Wheels guys over digging through everything. Uh, no toys. They used to have some toys and some end cap here, but it's now luggage. There's a bunch more Pokemon stuff. Had people around me in the collectors there. I had to get a little quiet, so I'm sure I'll get comments. Oh, you're mumbling. I'm not going to yell and disturb other customers, guys. I apologize. Let's see. All right, let's get over the action figures. I'm not seeing much here. Let's check our old pal Clarence. So last week I was here, the Power Rangers on clearance, $13.99, down almost 50%. Last week I was here, they had a Namor's Throne Room Lego set from Wakanda Forever on clearance. And honestly, I meant to get it, but I forgot to come back. And they had a bunch of them, and they've already cleared them out. I'm pretty sure this is where they were. Oh, well, that's not a big deal. Like, I wanted it really bad, but... I'll say I just wanted a name more minifigure. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry. <laughs> there's some friends clearance. Yeah, there's nothing down this one. Alrighty. And here we are, the action figures. Still got The Rock and Trish Stratus in those. Hulk Hogan. Ultimate Warriors. Dakota Kai, Hook, John Silver, Ray Phoenix. Who's in this wave? Thunder Rosa, Ray Phoenix, Hook. So that's the punk LGN wave. I've seen that punk LGN figure for showing up in some people's videos for clearance, but I don't remember if it was Target or Walmart. Somebody found that thing for clearance too, at one of their stores. Oh, these Mastiffs, Chrysanthemums, these things I didn't sell. I didn't sell my area. I shouldn't try to be negative. I complain over everybody else whining and grappling all the time. I uh, got a Mutate and Bebop and Rocksteady. We do not. I've only seen those once so far. Which I say they've been other places, but the stores that have had them, they haven't lasted very long until they sold out. I filmed a short on Mutating Bebop and Rocksteady. And after I walked the aisle and come back over, somebody had already grabbed them and was heading to the checkout. <laughs> Which I didn't want them, it's no big deal, but still. It's just cool to have something that popular. Speaking of Rocksteady, that's an awesome looking figure. I still got my original of him. I think I still have his gun. I don't know if I got the rest of his accessories. 
Uh, no Kong and Godzilla stuff, except for the mask there and the older Kong figure, Godzilla figure we saw over in the collectors. What do we got over here this morning? I don't see anything worth writing home about. There's a Batman Spin Master. I don't know if that's new. The Joker, Batman, 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 Joker. Still got the older stuff. Oh, they do have Animal Man. That's pretty cool. Oh, he's got a little ding on him, though. One behind him is in good shape. We got a couple of him here. We'll take his photograph. Still got Duke Thomas and the Joker. Egon. This one I'm tempted to get. I wonder if the tie is the same material the other one was. I know they're not so... Mine, well, well, I will say it's not super durable. I was a kid. I probably was rough with it there's a blind box ghostbuster figures and a lot of my buddies on instagram are digging those things anti-monitor justice buster i like anti-monitor i'm long gaming him though i like to get him but we're gonna see if he ends up at a little bit cheaper price i kind of like that big armored batman down here too i just think that would look kind of cool standing on a shelf and then you got the king shark there behind him the one that's eight and they're nine dollars showing up all over Ross right now. And then that Bane and Batman two pack. That one I will wait to see because I think we may see some of those at discount retailers eventually. What well, we got in G.I. Joe? Nothing but Viper. We got Phoebe and Callie. I don't know if I got a picture or not, so I hit my button like 15 times. Again, we got to have thumbnail fodder, guys. That's all that's left of the X-Men 97 stuff here, except for the small figs. But hopefully we'll get a good deal on those eventually. These I passed up on last time, but I, this might be a pickup. I like that Venom. That's the only one set they got is that one. Still got an MJ hanging out. That green Venom there is cool, too. That's kind of 20 bucks, so it makes it a little bit easier to pass up on. Nothing new and different here. All we got in our Infinity Sagas. Cap, 40, Mark 46 Iron Man, Spideys, and Mark IIs. Good looking figure wave, I think, even though they are mostly reissues, from what my buddies have told me. Um, all right, guys, I think that's going to do it for the main figure aisle. We're going to check out some die casts and stuff and see what they've got. We're going to take some thumbnail pictures, and if I see anything else, you know I'll let you see it. If I do not, then I will see you at the next one. First Ross of the day here in Kingsport, Tennessee. Didn't get to film an opening walking into the store because there was a line. I was in a rush to get to the door. <laughs> Let's get back here and see what they got. We'll just keep filming. Since we're right here at the toys, I already see a Batman Avengers. Uh, Power Rangers and some dinos here in this little end cap. They got stuff by the register too, but I couldn't tell what. So we'll check that out before we leave. Joker and Transformer stuff. Some Hot Wheels things under that skateboard. Gigantosaurus. Well. So far not much different than last week when I was here. I can't recall if we had any finds here last week. Other than just the Batman Adventure stuff and. It's something, but it's not the most exciting. We'll take a picture of him. That's still 20 bucks at Target and stuff. It's right down the road from here. We got a bunch of these two packs and the Dragon Ball stuff. I've seen a lot of those showing back up. Nothing over here. Not much down there. All right, guys, we're going to run up to the register, see what's up there in that bin. If I do see anything else, hey, there I am. I'll show it to you. If not, I will see you at the next one. Okay, I just completely walked right past that and didn't even see it, but they got this big Funko Pop movie poster thing. It's actually in pretty decent shape for 20 bucks, but Jurassic Park, I mean, not something interested in, but it's a find, right? So we're going to take another little look across this stuff to make sure I don't miss anything else. 
If I do find anything else, I'll show it to you. But if not, this time, we'll see you up front. And this is the side of Target in Johnson City, Tennessee. So let's run into this Target and see if there are any better than the one in Kingsport. That one was kind of slow this morning. So let's see if this one can redeem Target. What do we got back here in our action figure aisle? Nothing really different. Transformers took up the bat or Batman hat, Superman two pack. Still got these things full price. Check your Walmart's. This is something you've been wanting. It is hitting clearance. Dark Knight Returns, Joker eyes stuff, Aquaman. Still got all these Python Patrol reactions. Twenty dollars and fifty cents. They're probably going to continue to have those. I mean, some people might pay it. I don't know. I'm not. How much is Ghostbuster blind boxes? Eight dollars. Eight bucks for a figure that small. No thanks. Uh, Ecto's always good for thumbnail fodder. Hey, they got Ray. Ray, Egon, another Ray. So, cool. Take a picture of Ray. Uh, there's Gary. I don't think I took a... I will take a picture of him with the last one. They didn't have him. Ooh, they got the blind bags. Now, there you go. Two dollars for a blind bag or box. And I'm sure that figure is not much bigger than what that is. Well, it probably is a little bit. Don't be so negative, but... That green venom is kind of cool, but... Uh, 20 bucks. Oh, he does have wings and he squirts water, but still... I do that. I don't cost twenty dollars. Well, I don't have wings, but uh, Iron Man or Spidey Cap. I've only seen Iron Man, Captain America, and Spidey at Targets. I haven't seen War Machine or any of them. Where's the symbiote suit? That's pretty cool. This little figure series. I've got a few of them. I don't know. They're eleven bucks. They came with a few more accessories. Might justify that, but. Don't really get it. Clearance on some of that, nine dollars off. Ah, uh, what are we going to clearance? So oh, I forget the video game stuff back here. Big old Pikachu. There's some more Pikachu. That stuff up there, I don't know what it is. Minecraft, Mario stuff. What do we got in these? Lemmy, Mario, Cat Luigi, and a Koopa. And Bowser. Donkey Kong, that Donkey Kong is awesome. Here, we don't have a lot for thumbnail fodder. We'll throw Donkey Kong on there. All right, let's go check the wrestling and the clearance if we can find anything there, guys. If I do see anything, I'll show it to you. If I don't, then we'll see you at the next one. What do we got back here in our wrestling? There's Drew McIntyre from 104. Oh, we got one of this one left. Here we go. We got Roman. I think all of these, but is there a center of Cena? Yeah, they don't have Cena. Or maybe, oh, nope, never mind. They got Cena. Right here he is. <laughs> I got the whole wave of this. Uh, let's take a picture of Drew. Oh, look here, another Sting. I found this one the other day here. There's Darby Allen again as well. Sting is definitely one on the thumbnail. Can't find Sting up with him on a thumbnail. I mean, come on. Trent, Chris Statlander, Pac, One Eyed Pac. Penta El Zero and Thunder Rosa. Let's hang Sting back there. It's Sting! Let's see. Bokatan. Santon. 63s. We're going to have to check out for a second. Alright, we are back. We got invaded by an army of little people. <laughs> Kids in the toy aisle. What nerve, right? <laughs> I got out of the little dude's way. They were looking at some Hot Wheels. But there were quite a bit of them, so where do they clear it out? There's a one Genghis. Don't know if it's a what color Genghis it is. There's a Battle Roar Kong. Battle Roar Scar King. And there's the big Kong. How articulated is this guy? It looks just pretty much like the smaller $9 version that I bought. Just bigger. He's got shoulder articulation. His head turns, moves up and down a little bit. That's not bad for 25 bucks. I mean, look at my, for all the mega figs, they're what, 40? 
That's actually really cool. I like that Kong. What else we got back here? Got a little end cap here with some pumps and such. Not anything we haven't seen, I don't think. Older stuff there. What we got over there? There's a Star Wars book of Boba Fett. What is that? Sabine. There's the Black Panther. That one I don't see very. I only see that one at Target pretty much. I don't know if he's, I'm not saying he's exclusive. I just don't know if he is or not. Oh, and they're Hot Wheels. That's a cool Batmobile from Batman vs. Superman. Anybody pre-order the Batman vs. Superman McFarlane Batman that's coming out? That thing's sold out like stupid fast. All these are red tops. So that looks cool. The Sith Infiltrator and then Republic Gunship. I mean, that looks pretty cool as well. It's a beefy piece of metal right there. I picked up, I don't think I showed it on camera, but I picked up a couple of these. I want to take one off the bow. I think that looks cool. Texas Toot. <laughs> That's a cool looking Hot Wheel. I think I got that at the Bristol, Virginia Walmart. I don't remember. And then we got our Thunder Tank. Uh, what else we got down through here? Am I recording? Yeah, sorry. Okay, brain fart. Uh, da, 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 da. Fast and the Furious stuff. Still not seen the pink Batmobile. I don't know if I want to buy it. I just want to see it. <laughs> Series 32s. 32s, 32s, 32s. No 33. Oh, there's 33. Oh, that's cool looking. It's not the... I think it's a grease, grease trap is the name of the chase for this one. Yeah, there he is. The grease trap. I got to find that guy. But hey, we saw a 33. That's actually kind of cool looking. Bad habit. I've got a few of those. All right, that's going to do it for this aisle, guys. We got some cool wrestling. I mean, come on, we got Sting. That's probably, that's probably going to make this store the hunt. With something changed my mind between now and the end of the video. All right, guys, that's going to do it for here. We're going to look around a little bit more. I see anything else, I'll show it to you. If not, uh, I'll see you either in collectors or somewhere else. And here we go, Elizabeth and Walmart. Let's run in here and let's see if they got anything for us this morning. We are starting over here in the Star Wars stuff. That's odd for me. Maybe we got some wrestling stuff behind us here we'll check out as well. But we're going to look to Micro Galaxy because there's a lot of stuff here. But, oh, man, I love that guy, a TIE Fighter. <laughs> They do have a TIE Fighter. It's not all the same thing. I think this is the new wave. I'm not for sure, though. We got Pre Vizsla there. Another Pre Vizsla. Boba Fett may be older. And there's Ahsoka. Director Orson Krennic. Morgan Ellsworth. Yeah, I've seen that at GameStop. I don't think I've... I don't remember seeing it at a Walmart. Now we're going to take a picture of Vizsla. I don't think I've seen a pre Vizsla in this scale. But again, it might be 10 years old for all I know. Sorry, guys. I don't know a lot about All I know is that right there is the most sought after figure of all time Lando. I do know better than that. I'm just trying to be somewhat witty with that. Don't roast me in the comments. Oh, cool. A lot of these are new. So far, I've just seen the Paz Vizsla and Sabine. They do have both of those. That's actually pretty cool looking. With it in the silver on it, $9.97. Wow, that's cheaper than the, uh, I think the Avengers figures. Because these are only five POA. That's points of articulation. I learned that, you know, a little bit of slang there from. I don't think that warrants a short. Just on that one, they had four or five of them, maybe. Oh, these are kind of cool, too. That's Chopper, right? I think. Maybe not. I don't know. Sounds like a mean little squirrel cat thing. All right, what we got in wrestling? There's Macho and Hogan and Warrior plushies looking at us. Hey, Drew McIntyre basic, Becky Lynch. Doesn't look like there's too much exciting going on in the wrestling figures. And I can tell from looking here, it looks like their action figures are wiped out. They still got Hard Rock Superman down here. 20, okay, no, probably 24. Blackest Night and Death Storm. Or Blackest Night Batman. Oh, got the Crusader Batmobile, some Metal Figs, a Hawkman, Batwing, Cyclone, Older um, Superpowers, 
Got the th Spin Master 3 pack up there. Oh, almost burped. Apologize for that. Oh, we got over here shipwrecks. And then we got a Crimson God. I'll take a picture of the Crimson Guard. If I can see everyone has some thumbnail fodder. We haven't found a whole lot of exciting stuff today, guys. To be quite honest, pretty much all the new stuff we found, I was hoping to possibly stumble upon some of the McFarlane Collector's Editions. Notably, the Batman Chase. Batman's Green Lantern Chase, to be more specific. And then the um, Wonder Woman. Hoping to see it maybe somewhere. But it's okay. It's been fun getting out and looking anyways. I always enjoy toy hunting. Hence the reason I have a YouTube channel based on it. <laughs> oh, somebody stole a Fuggler. Ridiculous. They're eight dollars. There's a clearance siren for twenty four ninety seven. Well, these are nine ninety seven. I, I, I guess you can say these might be a better deal than at Mandalorian. I guess these have shoulder articulation. I don't really know. These might just be five POA too. Not for sure. I've seen like so many different prices on. It. I think Target might have them more expensive than this place does. I'm thinking they're like eleven dollars at Target. I could be wrong though. Spider-Man is trying to shoot a web at me. I got Storm back there. The Rose. MJ. Here are our fugglers that are still in the box. Have they got Donnie? Uh, Donnie. Oh, Leo's phone. I think all oh, these are Leo's. Leonardo. Yep, I don't see Donnie. These things are stuffed out to the Edge of the Peg, Movie Turtles, Genghis and Wing, or uh, Baxter. They got a big Scar King down there. Uh, da, 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 don't see anything else. There's the metal figs for Godzilla and Kong, or Shimu, Kong, Scar King. Do they have Godzilla? No Godzilla, so all a whole set but him. That's the one we picked. I think this might be the Walmart I bought this thing at. I don't remember. But that and the big Scar King. That's all the Godzilla and Kong. Well, there's another Kong and Scar King 2-pack. Take note, toy companies. Playmates. And then I guess with association with Jada, they price this stuff somewhat reasonable. And as far as my area, it seems to sell pretty well. Oh, what we got back here? Poppy Playtime. Uh, not a whole lot of this one, guys. I think we're going to end this one for now. We're going to check out some die casts and check out the Lego and all that stuff. If I see anything else, I'll show it to you. If not, eh, we may see someplace else. Just might wrap it up. I don't know yet. Let's peek at some die cast. They might have something cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, not too much going on in those little kits. Got some more of the little M2s in the box. I'm not seeing anything too exciting. Uh, pink slips. They got a pink Batmobile. Nah. What we got here? They got the bat. And you know, those. And there's the bat wing. <laughs> Another one of the bats. I don't know if I've got the bat. I might. Not for sure. I don't know. Oh, they got the Thunder Tank. It's the first time seeing it in a Walmart. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this time machine. It's like it's iced over, I guess. That's kind of cool. I haven't seen that before. Let's take a picture of it. There we go. Thumbnail fodder. Oh. That's kind of loud, sorry. There's another time machine. Is that a variant? Hmm. I don't know. You diecast people let me know. Is the frozen time machine a variant? Take pictures of side by side together there. Post it on Instagram. See if anybody can let me know. Probably gonna be like, yes, it's a variant. It's worth thousands of dollars, you idiot. Well, nobody's ever been way ash. Some people have been that rough in the comments before. That's okay though. I like to jail back at them. It's fun. That's kind of cool. I don't remember ever seeing the little green light. I may have seen it. I don't know. I just don't remember. 
Monster Jam, you're gonna have my Series 33 today. 31s. Here's some more 31s. They have a whole big like center aisle of these a little bit down the store, but they are all all they are all older ones. There's a Batman. Okay, that's the newest one we got. Some of the X-Men. I got one, four, five, two, four, five, two, four, and five. There's no one and three. All right, everybody, not seeing anything else. Uh, we're going to check out some Lego. If you do see anything worth showing there, I'll let you see it. If not, that's going to wrap up this Walmart. Take a look at their collector section. Walk through their clearance. They had some, a lot of clearance stuff, but nothing we haven't already seen. They had the Elite Series Leonardo for 10 bucks. Couldn't find Michelangelo. There's a two pack of the Foot Soldiers. They had a Black Lightning for six bucks. Kind of the typical stuff I've been seeing, but they had a good assortment of it. I guess you could see. Oh, what they got over there? Anything worth looking at? There's a clearance. Is that Biff? 18 bucks for Biff? That's not bad. It's in decent shape. Oh, look at these things. Dusty and beat all the crap and still $100. <laughs> There's a $15 Iron Man. I passed up on Iron Man the other day on clearance. The Batman one's really cool. If that Snoopy was on clearance, that would be a possibility. What is this? Snoopy's still 20 bucks. No, thanks. 17 for a foot soldier. I don't know if that's good or not. Uh, and behind us over here, got gargoyles, a bunch of pops. I got the Spider-Man No Way Home big set. Two of those. Not seeing anything else, my friends. I think that's just going to... Oh, they got some down here on this end cap. That looks like those Guardians of the Galaxies. Let's see how much they are here. Before we wind it down. 15 bucks still here. Okay, so that's going to do it, guys. I do find anything else here. I'll let you see it. If I don't, we're going to see you. I don't know what we're seeing yet. Like the screen before my face said, let's wrap this one up, guys. Another great weekend hunt. But as usual, before we get into the toy hunt, I got to plug something. Undisputed Part 4 T3 Collects YouTube channel. A little panel live stream he does on his channel usually once a month. I am going to be part of Part 4. It is going to be on February the 13th, 2024, the day before Valentine's Day. What a way to ring in Valentine's Day. And it will be at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're in a different time zone, figure out what it is for you. Eastern Standard Time is 9 p.m. But on that show is going to be myself, T3, Yukon Field, EC Collecting, Hey Archer from Nerd Affiliated, Millennium Workshop is our moderator, Collecting Havoc, and then two newcomers to the uh, Undisputed show, but not newcomers to YouTube, Collect to Disconnect. I get to meet him for the first time. I've watched a lot of his content. And then, guys, I've got to try not to nerd out on this show because T3 has got JB's Toy Trunk. I love JB Toys Trunk's content. I have watched him since before I started my channel, since he started his. So really looking forward to getting to speak some with JB there on Undisputed. But check it out, T3 Collects channel. His link will be in the description of this video and all my videos going forward until February 13th. Now, let's talk about the toy hunt. Let's get into my usual little segments. Let's talk about... Store of the Hunt. What was Store of the Hunt for this video? Let's talk about the stores I was in first. I was in Ross Stores in Bristol, Kingsport, Johnson City, and Greenville. They kind of sucked for this video. Skella Guy was about it, so they ain't Store of the Hunt. I'm going to tell you that. Target, we were at Target Stores in Bristol, Johnson City, and Kingsport. Saw about the same old, same old out of them. And then Walmarts, two of them in Johnson City, one in Kingsport, and the one in Elizabethton, Tennessee. But out of those stores, what gets the title? What takes the belt for this toy hunt video? That is the Walmart on West Market Street in Johnson City, Tennessee. And the reason being was the cool stuff we saw there, of course, but they had, in my opinion, the most cool stuff that put them over the edge. They had the new McFarlane gold labels. They had Vampire Robin. They had Owl Man. I was in, that's where I picked those, where I picked up Robin there uh, in my last hunt video. They had like six or seven Robins. They had like six or seven Owl Man. As these always do, when these gold labels first hit, they usually sell out pretty quick once they hit, and they almost had. As you saw in the video, they had very few left of Robin and Owl Man, but I'm sure we'll see those. Uh, the Bristol Walmart had them as well on Friday when I was in their store, but I didn't uh, record in there. That's all they had. 
the only thing getting me with Vampire Robin. And let me know if you guys are finding the same thing. Uh, the one that uh, Vlad the Impaler had sent me had it a little bit, not as bad as the one I've seen. But most of them have a little like, me little messed up spot there on the corner of the box. Like right where the flap folds down in behind the hanger, it's, it's hooved up a little bit. I have yet to see one in my stores that does not have that. So... I guess it's maybe something that happened during manufacturing, shipping, I don't know. But anyway, just a little nitpicky thing that I noticed on the Vampire Robin boxes. But what else did they have outside DC Multiverse? They had the diecast, the Godzilla and Kong stuff they had there in force. They had the diecast mini, little metal mini figures. They had the whole set of those. They had both those two packs with uh, Godzilla and Shimu, and, or Shimo, or how you say it, and then Kong and Scar King. They had a lot of the individual figures. They had, what, in my opinion, what is the coolest thing from that line. That's that big big remote control Godzilla. Guys, I've got that thing. I hope I get the short put on YouTube before this video goes out. That thing is awesome for 45 bucks. I just got to say, it's as cool as they had that there. Um, the Fugglers, the Ninja Turtle Fugglers that are hitting, they had Leo and Donnie there. They just had a lot of cool stuff at that Walmart. That Walmart was down for a while. They got stuff now, so they're number one for this video. Walmart, West Market Street, Johnson City, Tennessee, Store of the Hunt. Now, let's head into uh, the top three. What was the man's top three items from this toy hunt? We're going to start with number three, and it is a Star Wars item. That's right. I'm not a Star Wars guy, but I like Star Wars stuff. It does look cool. That little five-point articulation Mandalorian figure that I saw at Elizabeth and Walmart, that thing looked cool. I like how they did it. They didn't make his armor dull. They had Mando's armor. It was shiny silver. It just for that scale of a figure, it looked cool. It was only 10 bucks, which honestly is 10 bucks too much for a figure that size. I mean, I want to say yes, but I come from a day when figures twice that size at that same articulation are better was cheaper, but you factor in inflation, all that crap, and today's prices, I guess 10 bucks isn't exactly terrible for those, but prices for everything suck nowadays, let's be honest. But that figure does look pretty cool, come with some pretty cool accessories. I think that might have been the Dark Saber. I don't know what the Dark Saber is. It, if that's what it was in the package with him, though, it looked cool. I like that little figure, therefore, I put it in number three for the number three coolest thing I saw on this toy hunt. Now, let's go into number two. Number one and number two both are going to be centered around something that I'm really back into hardcore right now, and it's Godzilla. But at the Target in Kingsport, that got the 1954 Godzilla figure they had, the old school, the classic Godzilla, man, that thing looked great. I don't think it was all that expensive. I can't remember. Maybe 20 25 bucks. I don't recall. I have to go back and watch the video again to see it. You saw it here, so you know how much it cost in there. But that thing felt really high quality for the price point it was at. It looked really good. It was really a nice detail. I don't know if it did anything, if it roared, if it swings his tail or anything like that. I didn't get that deep into looking at it. But just looks-wise, it looked great. That would look great sitting on a shelf, you know, in a certain man cave. I didn't buy it, to be quite honest, but I kind of wish I did because it looked cool. But that does take number two, the Godzilla 1954 edition, Target in Kingsport. And that's going to lead us to number one. What was it? You can pretty much guess from my previous comment. It's going to be something related to Godzilla. And it is. West Market Street Walmart, the remote control Godzilla. Guys, that is probably... Donkey Kong and all uh, series is probably my favorite thing that I've gotten so far in 2024. Until I got that Godzilla thing. That thing is cool. Now, it is remote control. He does walk. You can shift his tail around, and that kind of steers him to turn. Is it the most, I guess, sturdy, or not sturdy, but I don't know, well, most balanced walking thing? No, it's kind of wonky. It hasn't fallen over yet, but still, for the price point, $45 for a Godzilla figure that detailed and that tall in today's market, I think that's a pretty good deal. Plus, you add in that he walks. He swings his tail, you pour water in a little spot on the back of his head, and you push a button on the remote control, and it vaporizes, and he shoots out like he's shooting out heat breath. That is awesome. And also, you got the button to push on the top that makes him roar. So all the features and everything you get, that is really cool, and I think for the money, it's worth it. So kudos to the Playmates. Or no, actually, that's from Jada. I guess Jada and Playmates, they, one of them owned the other. I have no idea. But uh, some of this Godzilla Kong stuff is Jada, some of it's Playmates. That one is Jada, and again, very affordable and very awesome toy. So therefore, it's number one. All right, guys, there we go. I shaved the hair off my face before I got the video here, so I'm more aerodynamic. We're getting through this wrap-up quicker and getting you back into your weekly activities. So now, let's talk about a toy haul. What did the man collects buy for this toy hunt? 
And we got a few things here. Not a robust uh, haul. We got some stuff to show. One thing I did get a pre-order in that I actually forgot. And one of the many things I forgot I pre-ordered. It showed up at work. Or, sh or it showed up at work. That's the right way to say that, I guess. I don't know. But we got the Nightwing, the Nightfall version from Entertainment Earth. It showed up at my office Friday. Um, didn't know what I was getting from Entertainment Earth to open the box. I got to do some research on this, guys. I like the figure. I like the coloring and all the stuff like that. But I don't know if you can see it, but on the side of his face, it's almost like he's got a bruise or like a dark spot on the side of his face. You can see it there. Maybe it's like a beauty mark. I don't know. But I don't remember seeing that in any of the renders. I'm wondering if I got one with like a paint blemish or something on it. Because I don't remember it being like a bruised up face. Like he got his butt kicked in the Nightfall storyline or something. So I don't know. I think I might have got a dud here as far as the paint on his face until I do some research on it. But otherwise, he looks pretty cool. And he did come in for Entertainment Earth. And they did pretty good packaging. It's got one little ding there on the hanger, but it's not anything to make me want to, you know, send it back or anything like that. So kudos to Entertainment Earth. They've done good. Everything I've ordered from them, you know, over my brief history with them. All right, that's the only online thing we got. Uh, retail pickups. I did pick up the Toonie Comic Superman from Target in Bristol. We're going to put this with the Joker. I haven't opened Joker yet. I'm looking because it's sitting right there off camera where you can't see it on that shelf. I may end up tearing these things open. I got some other Toonie Terrors on the other side of the room here sitting on these shelves. But look at his face. He just looks like he's looking at you like, yeah, so, or something like that. It just looks, I like these little Toonie comics. I like the Toonie Terrors as well. But again, I'll probably get all these they put out. But we did pick up Superman. Okay, I'm rambling on too long. Let's get going here. I have decided as far as the $10 figures for Godzilla and Kong, I want to get them all. I've already got Kong with the Beast Glove, so I did pick these up. This one I haven't seen that much of in stores. I think I found this at the uh, Browns Mill Walmart and bought it. But we did get Shimu, Shimo, whatever he is there. And just to see the line on the back, you can see what they got. Scar King, Kong, um, what's the little baby Kong's name? Suko. Godzilla evolved and Godzilla with and regular Godzilla with the blue there, but we did pick up Shimo and you can probably guess some of the rest of them getting ready to show you. Also, don't see this one very much. We did pick up Suko. I guess is that like a little baby Kong or lizard or something there he's got with him. I can't tell, but again, these figures for the price point and the articulation and stuff you get. I mean, yeah, you might argue this one's worth less than than the Kong figure, but at least they did put something with him. They just didn't give you this this little guy. Playmates, you get a silver proof when the man collects on this toy line because they're nice figures and they're very affordable, you know, based on today's prices. For anybody else starts saying, well, $10 is still too much. Playmates should have to go out of business. Oh, sorry. And then we got here, we got the classic Godzilla. Now, one thing I didn't notice, and it's still going to look a little wonky, I don't like the big wound on his chest. I want him to be perfect or whatever, but it's got a little piece down here in the box that you can get, I guess, that plugs into that to cover it. But again, it's Godzilla. It doesn't look all that bad. I just feel like they made Godzilla look a little bit small in this scale compared to Kong and some of the... I gotta look at that Kong with the Beast Glove and put them side by side once I get him out of the packaging to see how they uh, measure up to each other. But we did pick up this Godzilla. So now the only one I need to get to have them all, I need Scar King and I need Godzilla Evolves. I did not pick those up. All right, the next two pickups I got. I did get these little Jada Back to the Future DeLoreans cause, because I thought these were like 10 or 12 bucks. These are only $7 for these little, what are these? Like one, probably one, I don't know what the scale they are. They don't sell in the box. I'm going to waste time looking at it. But we did get the frozen looking one and the regular looking one. I couldn't find online if this is like a variant or something. I think it's just a different paint version of it. But it does look cool where it's frosted over. It's the exact same car as this one. Their numbers on the back match. Like I got this one plus the frozen version of it there. They're easy to display on a shelf. And for seven bucks, I think that's a pretty good deal for diecast. So we did pick up the two Back to the Future DeLoreans. And those were at Walmart in Elizabethan. Uh, next two pickups, a couple of clearance items. You did see me pick up the Batman version of this. And for anybody wonder what it looked like, it's back here on the shelf. Oh, here we go. Check that out. That little head. That's a pretty cool. 15 bucks. I mean, the paint and the detailing, these are pretty nice. So... When I did see these two, I had to pick them up as well. But we did get Iron Man, the little head knocker there. Or bobblehead, whatever you want to call it. And we also picked up Captain America. Both are on clearance and both are only $15 each. So as far as the toy haul, guys, that's it. As far as this hunt video, that's it. 
Let's talk about social media. Where can you find me on social media? Well, you can go to Instagram. If you look in the description of this video, and I'm doing this pointing thing again, this just happen this just happens now. I don't plan this, but description of this video, about page on YouTube, find my link to Instagram. You'll see it here in the splash on the front of the screen, showing you where to find me on there. And then we have this YouTube channel called The Man Collects. If you want to subscribe, give me a subscribe. But if you are a first time viewer to this content and you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe. If you've come back a whole bunch of times, you just haven't hit that little subscribe button yet, consider hitting it and seeing what comes down the pipe here on the YouTube channel. But with all that, everyone, hope you had a great weekend. I hope your week is off to a wonderful start. And until Wednesday, the man collects, I'm out of here.